Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. Today I had a really fun question from a student looking to look for scholarly research articles or academic articles on how, to, how companies can use social media to increase sales, revenues, or drive customer engagement. And I use a database called Business Source Complete to find information on that. So this video shows you how you can use that to find information on that topic or other, other topics related to social media and things like that. So here you go. So the database we'll be using to find articles, scholarly articles, on how social media can be used to impact sales, revenues, and drive customer engagement is a database called Business Source Complete. And this is a product of EBSCO, and this is available at a lot of different libraries. So even if you're not affiliated with Ohio University, you can probably find this at a nearby library. So uh, it's a real popular uh, uh, tool to use. So what we're going to do is go up here and search for social media. And you'll see we search for social media here. We're going to get a whole lot of articles, 18,000. Okay. Now what we can do is go down here and search for social media and sales. And just do search there. And because we're combining two different terms, we're going to get fewer results. So now we're down to 1,000. Okay. Now, social media isn't just social media. What if we want to do like social media or Twitter? The or is going to get us more results Okay, because it's going to search for the word social media or Twitter. And so we got about 300 more results there on our list. And we can do the same thing, or Facebook, or YouTube. You can keep going to your heart's content there. Do a search. We will probably get a few more results there. So we're up to 2,000. Now we can get on here and say, well, let's look for sales uh, or revenues, maybe, to see how that would change. And we'll do that. And we'll get uh, probably about 700 more articles. And let's do, or I'm just going to do customer right there right and now we're down to six thousand articles you're probably saying whoa that's way too many well the reason I'm doing that is because after we do this we're pretty satisfied with some of the terms that are that are popping up what we want to do is try to find these journals okay uh, and, and things like that so what we'll do is actually go down and limit to scholarly peer-reviewed journals here and this may the language here basically just looking for academic research journals or scholarly journals do update there, and that's going to get rid of, a, rid of a lot of those. So now we're down to 384. Okay, so this is going to get rid of the articles from Time Magazine, from Ad Week, things like that. Okay, if 384 is still too many to look for, you may see that there may be some terms, for example, marketing or customer relations or things like that. So what if we put in marketing down here? And because we're adding an additional term there, it's going to find fewer results there. Okay, so we got rid of about a hundred articles just by searching for marketing. If you're still looking to whittle that down a little bit, you can also go down and limit by date range. And so uh, clearly we don't really need articles from 1965. So what we can do is actually change this and let's just change it to 2010 to the present and do update. And we'll find that we have a lot fewer articles to look to, 184 articles there. And what you'll find within here is um, there will be, uh, for example, this article here. Uh, you will find uh, the source here, how many pages it is, how, how recent it is, the authors, including author affiliation. The first author is actually affiliated with Ohio University, so kudos there. And you'll have a nice abstract here, which will give you basically your, your kind of the back of the book summary as far as what the article is about. And if it's available in full text, you just click there right there to get the PDF full text right there in uh, your screen there where you can print, email, download. Um, that sort of thing. So that's how you find articles on uh, this particular topic and use the advanced search features in Business Source Complete to find what you need. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this video helps you learn how to use uh, Business Source Complete to find articles on social media. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. Be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.